We now find the exact value of sine of 11 pi over 6 using the reference angle and the quadrant diagram. So basically this involves about uh, four steps. That is, uh, we have to determine the quadrant in which this angle lies. We will also have to determine the reference angle and then we have to determine the sine and finally we determine the exact value. So we will do each step one by one to determine the exact value of sine of 11 pi over 6. So let's do uh, step one. That is, uh, we have to determine the quadrant in which this 11 pi over 6 uh, lies in. For this, uh, we can break this into a combination of uh, two angles. That is, uh, we can break this as uh, pi plus uh, some angle or we can also break this as uh, uh, pi minus of uh, some angle. Also, we can write down this as uh, 2 pi plus or 2 pi minus of some angle. And uh, if we write down this as uh, uh, pi plus some angle, then it uh, lies in quadrant 3. So we see that this is quadrant 3. If you are able to uh, write down this as a combination of a pi, uh, pi minus x, then it lies in quadrant 2. And similarly, if you are able to write down as a combination of 2 pi plus x, then it lies in uh, quadrant 1. And if you are able to write down as a 2 pi minus of x, then we see that it lies in quadrant 4. So we now see that uh, uh, exact combination such that we can write down this angle 11 pi over 6. Uh, that could be written as a sum of two angles. Basically, this x has to be a reference angle. That is, it must be less than pi by 2. If it is greater than pi by 2, then we do not consider that x. So, let's suppose that uh, we write down this as a pi plus some angle x. This equals 11 pi over 6. Using this equation, we can find x. So, x equals 11 pi over 6. We subtract pi, by, uh, pi from both sides. So this equals 11 pi over 6 minus 6 and uh, this equals when we simplify 11 pi over 6. This pi can be written as uh, 6 pi over 6. So this is basically 11 pi minus of uh, 6 pi over 6 and this gives uh, 5 pi over 6. But uh, observe that this 5 pi over 6 is greater than pi by 2 uh, which is not uh, a reference angle. So we ignore this combination. And we also see that we cannot write down this as a combination of uh, 2 pi plus x because uh, this uh, angle that is 11 pi over 6, this is already less than 2 pi because uh, if only if we have the numerator as at least 12 pi, then if we divide 12 pi over 6, then we will get at least 2 pi. So since it is less than 12 pi, we, uh, we understand that uh, this is already less than 2 pi. So we cannot write down this as a combination of more than 2 pi, that is 2 pi plus some angle. So we also ignore this combination. And this means uh, we can only write down this as a combination of uh, pi minus of x or 2 pi minus of x. So let's see how we can write down. Uh, first, I'm going to try with uh, pi minus of x. This equals 11 pi over 6. Let's see if you are getting a reference angle uh, when we use this combination. So this implies x equals uh, pi minus of 11 pi over 6. And this gives uh, pi can be written as uh, 6 pi over 6 minus of 11 pi over 6. And this gives 6 pi minus 11 pi is uh, negative 5 pi over 6. Basically, this angle x equals uh, negative uh, 5 pi over 6. And we also see that uh, this negative 5 pi over 6 is not... Uh, reference angle because uh, this is not less than uh, uh, pi by 2. So we also ignore this combination. And finally, we have only this uh, combination that is, we can only write down this as a combination of 2 pi minus, six, minus x. So let's uh, do that. So I'm going to write down uh, 11 pi over 6 as a combination of 2 pi minus of x. So I write down like this. And using this, we can uh, uh, find the x. So this equals 2 pi minus of 11 pi over 6. I write down 2 pi as uh, 12 pi over 6 minus of 11 pi over 6 and this gives uh, 12 pi minus of 11 pi over 6. So 12 pi minus 11 pi is pi and divided by 6 so we get 11 pi over 6. 
So now we can see that uh, this can be considered as a reference angle because this is less than pi by 2. So we have determined that uh, x equals uh, 11 pi over 6 and this means uh, this 11 pi over 6 this can be written as uh, 2 pi minus of uh, pi by 6 and if we have a combination of 2 pi minus of x then we already understood that the angle lies in fourth quadrant. So our angle lies in fourth quadrant and we have also determined the reference angle is 2 uh, pi over 6. So the quadrant is uh, fourth quadrant and the reference angle is uh, pi over 6. So therefore we can find the sine as well as the exact value. So this means uh, we can write down this uh, sine of 11 pi over 6. This is written as sine of 2 pi minus of pi over 6. So then we write down only with the reference angle. That is we can write down this as sine of pi over 6. And since we have determined that uh, this angle lies in quadrant 4, in quadrant 4 only cause is positive, every, uh, every other trigonometric ratio is negative, which means sine is also negative. So we write down uh, sine, that is the negative of sine of pi over 6. And we know the value of sine of pi over 6, which is uh, half. So therefore, this becomes a negative half, or in terms of decimal, this is equal to negative 0.5. So this is the exact value of sine of 11 pi over 6.